Hi guys, welcome. Uh, I want to show you the next, uh, the really the final two steps here on our uh, Mount Rushmore uh, photo, Photoshop photo montage introductory project here. Um, just a couple of things for you to keep in mind. Number one, uh, take your time. Okay, if you get stuck, if I'm going too fast, you can always pause it and rewind and see what you missed. So if there's something that you don't understand, just rewind it, do exactly what I'm doing in exactly the same way, and you should be able to be successful. Um, the idea is that the first time you do it, you're gonna follow me and, and copy essentially exactly what I'm doing. And then once you know the basic steps, you're gonna be able to adapt those um, techniques for your own purposes. Um, so with that said, uh, this is sort of the final result that we're going for. You'll notice that my uh, four heads here are all nicely cut out. Almost everyone has already turned that in. Uh, but if you have not yet done so, please do so. Um, the final two steps, or the final steps I should say, uh, is adding the texture to the heads and uh, colorizing the heads. Uh, we've already done texture similarly before. So this video is going to be a little bit shorter. Uh, it's This is exactly the same technique that we did when we did the pizza with the texture applied. So um, I'm this is the end result. This is what I'm going for in the end. Uh, but I'm now going to delete all those layers to show exactly what you should have at the moment, which is something that looks like this. Whoops. Got one extra. Okay, there we go. Um, so what most people turned into me last week was uh, a Mount Rushmore with four heads added. Uh, you used the layer mask function to remove the backgrounds out of each of your separate heads. Um, if you were careful and if you did this nicely, then you will have, let me zoom in here on MJ, um, you will have cut out the heads really carefully uh, specifically going around the edges of the rocks so that the heads really look like they belong and like they fit on there nicely, okay? Um, so let's uh, let's add some textures, okay? I'm gonna start with uh, MJ here. Actually, no, I'm gonna start with Dr. Fauci first. Uh, so first step is make sure you select that layer first. So I'm gonna apply my texture on Fauci here first this is his layer. You'll notice that my layers have been named. So my layer actually says Dr. Fauci. Yours probably says like layer one, layer two, layer three. Um, if you want to rename the layer, all you have to do is uh, uh, double click on the name and you can rename that layer. Um, so this is my Fauci layer. Um, so I'm gonna click on that layer first and use that uh, to apply my texture too. Um, it is very important that you select the layer portion rather than the mask portion. Um, it's important that you recognize the difference. If this is highlighted on the left, uh, that is the actual pixels on the layer, and that's what I want. Uh, if I click on this, I'm then selecting the mask, and when I then copy in my texture, um, when I paste in my texture, if I have this selected, watch what happens. Edit, paste. Uh, it totally messes up my mask. And what it did here, it actually pasted my texture into my mask. Hopefully you can see that. Um, so if that happens, just control Z uh, to go back a step. And, and that's obviously not what I want. Um, so what I'm looking for here is I'm looking for a nice rock texture. So I'm gonna, uh, you could use Texture King if you want. Um, Texture King does have some decent rock textures, um, but I'm gonna show you a different way this time, just, just for fun. Uh, I, I literally just Googled rock texture, okay? Rock texture. And what comes up are literally thousands of pictures of rock textures. Uh, you wanna choose a good one, so not something like this. This is like pebbles in a pond, not something like this. This is clearly like a stone wall of some sort. I'm looking for rocks specifically that, that looks like Mount Rushmore. So this one's pretty good. I'm looking for rocks that have uh, cracks that look like mountains. Um, this one would be really good. 
This one would be good. This one would be good. I could also use a variety of them. I don't need to use the same one for all the heads. Um, for now, I'm going to use this guy. I think it looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to click with two fingers or right click if you're using a mouse uh, and click copy image. Okay. Then when I go back to Photopia, I can choose edit, paste. Okay. If I did that correctly, um, <laughs> That's funny. Uh, if I did that correctly, you'll notice over here, my texture layer is right on top of my Dr. Fauci layer. Okay. So when you paste it in, it will make its own layer. Now, don't freak out. It, it covered up all my other layers, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to use my move tool to move that layer around. Uh, and I'm going to check my transform controls up here at the top uh, so that I can resize that texture down okay so i'm just going to shrink it down until it is you know roughly the size that i want um, it doesn't need to be exactly the size of the head in fact what i'm doing here is i'm kind of looking for an area that i want on the picture so i'm going to sort of rotate it until it looks the way i want so i'm going to use this area right here i think it looks pretty cool that's what i want um, so again, if I've done this correctly, I will have the layer that I want to apply the texture to and the texture is directly above it. So it needs to be right on top. Okay. Uh, and then the, the trick to make it work is really simple, um, but is very specific. So the, but the texture is directly above the layer. Okay. And then I'm going to click two fingers on the texture layer. Okay. And I should have the option to choose clipping mask. So we used this before on a previous assignment. And what this does is it creates what's called a clipping group. Okay. And it clips this layer inside this layer. So as a result, now my stone texture is showing up inside my Dr. Fauci head, which I've already cut out. Okay. Um, if it doesn't look like this, then you've done something wrong and you'll want to go back on your history, uh, press control Z a couple times to go back and then try it again. Um, but this is what I should see. I should see the texture inside the face. And over here, I see that my texture layer is clipped inside my um, head, just like that. Um, be careful, you do not want to clip anything to your background layer. So what I'm going to end up with are four separate textures clipped to each, one clip to each layer, okay? Once my um, texture is clipped properly to the head so that you only see the texture inside the head, uh, then it's time to adjust the blending. So right now the, the, the texture is covering up the face. Uh, I don't want that, obviously. I wanna still be able to see the face. So I'm gonna go over here to where it says normal and I'm gonna change that to overlay, okay? Overlay is not always the correct answer. Um, you can experiment and try the other um, you know, different blending modes and see what works for you. Uh, most of them are going to look really weird. Um, some of them are going to have seemingly very little effect at all. Um, these guys right here, overlay, soft light, and hard light tend to work really well. So in this case, I'm going to choose overlay and remarkably it works fairly well. Um, now, does it look perfect? No, it, there's some weirdness there. Um, there, there is some, some strange stuff. Like it looks weird where the, uh, the mask is. Um, I might want to move the texture around a little bit so that it doesn't interfere too much with the eyes. Um, but generally speaking, uh, that's the look that I'm going for. Don't worry about the colors. We're going to talk about that on the next step. So you're going to go ahead and do that to all four of the heads. Um, if you feel comfortable, go ahead and do it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate on all the rest of the heads so you can watch if you want to. Uh, it's really quick and easy. So I'm going to find a different texture for my uh, Ginsburg. Um, I'm going to go with, uh, let's see, I'm going to go with this one. Um, actually, I don't like that because of that. Um, that's a little too fake. How about this? That looks pretty good. Um, so right click. Copy image, back to Photopia. 
I have selected my Ruth Bader Ginsburg layer. Again, make sure I don't select the mask. I've selected the actual layer, and then I can do edit, paste. There it is. It's gonna paste it all the way up in the corner. So don't, don't get uh, confused by that. That texture is way up here. So I'm just gonna move it. I'm gonna rotate it and I'm gonna scale it so that it fits roughly over her head. I'm gonna rotate this around actually the other way. Uh, I don't want this huge crack going right through her face. So I'm just gonna shift it around a little bit until it's in a position that I like. Okay, um, so again, my texture layer is on top, so I can create a clipping mask to clip it down to that layer and then set it to overlay. Looks pretty good. Um, if you're not thrilled with it, you can move it around to get just the look that you want. Uh, you can also experiment with different blending modes. So sometimes soft light is better. Sometimes hard light is better. Um, sometimes it's too much. Uh, often overlay is the way to go. Um, that looks pretty good. Let's do uh, Tiger King, Joe Exotic. Um, new texture. Let's go with uh, let's go with this one. That looks actually this one has a uh, this has a uh, watermark on it, so be careful with that. I'll use this one. This one's lovely. Copy image back to Photopia and paste. Didn't work, let's try that again. Paste, there it goes. Okay, so there's my rock texture. I'm gonna rotate it, move it, scale it down. Okay, and then I'm going to make clipping mask, like so, and overlay. There it goes. Okay, and lastly, I actually like that texture quite a bit. I may end up using that one for my other heads, actually. Um, here's my MJ layer. Paste in that texture. Here it is. Find a place that it looks good. Clip it and blend it. There you go. Um, I actually do like that better. So I'm gonna actually get rid of this texture, which I'm not crazy about. Paste that one in, and we'll just use that one as well for RBG. There you go. And uh, I'm actually okay with the Fauci texture. So there you go. So I actually ended up using the same texture for, um, for three of the heads, but that's totally fine. Um, so what you'll see at the end over here is you'll have each layer with a texture layer clipped to it, just like so. Um, if you have problems, if you have questions, please shoot me an email. Um, I will do the best I can to answer any questions. Uh, again, please always be very specific. If you have questions or problems, be very specific. Uh, people continue to send me emails that say things like, I don't know what to do, or I'm confused. And, and that doesn't give me enough information. So if you are stuck, if you need help, please be specific and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you.